All right, so now we did it. We have already done a dilation where the shape would grow. Now we're going to try a dilation where the shape will shrink. And the reason why the shape will shrink is because of the scale factor, which we'll talk about in a minute. So I, we're focusing just on the rectangle here, H, I, J, K. Rectangle H, I, J, K. We'll do the triangle in a little bit. But the rectangle H, I, J, K. So first, let's find out how long the sides are here. So looks like I'm counting. There's four there from HI, and then HK has eight units, so four by eight, all right? And now, let's take a look here. So it says dilate by one half, and so remember, when the scale factor is less than one, so a number that's smaller than one, it could be a fraction or a decimal, if it's smaller than one, that means my shape is actually going to shrink, so it's going to get smaller. The second most important thing there, it says using center I, so center I means I'm going to circle it, and remember, that is where my dilation, all of it takes place. So it's either going to grow from that point or shrink into that center. So I have circled it just so I remember. All right, let's first take a look at HI. We already counted this four units. So what I'm going to do is four times one half, which really means four over one times one half. Or you can look at it as four divided by two if you like. But I'm going to do is uh, multiplying two fractions together. So multiplying straight across, 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2. And of course, we can reduce that fraction, 4 over 2, which becomes 2. So then from my center, rather than going 4 units to H, I'm only going to go 2 units towards H. So my new point there is H prime. All right, now let's take a look at IJ. But wait, we don't know how long IJ is. Just kidding. We know that rectangles, the lengths are the same on both sides and the widths are the same on both sides. So HK is 8. That means IJ is 8. All right, so now we know it's 8. So we multiply 8 times our scale factor, which is 1 half. And again, we run into that situation where we have a whole number times a fraction. So we put the invisible one under 8. You can also think of it as 8 divided by 2. But let's go ahead and multiply straight across. 8 times 1 is 8, times 1 is 2, and 8 over 2 becomes 4. So from my center, I'm going to count 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4. So my new dot goes right there on the y-axis. So my new rectangle is right there. Notice how it's a lot smaller than my original because the scale factor of 1 half means it's going to shrink. And there you go. That's how you dilate by 1 half and just dilations with a scale factor less than 1.